my favorite part of these meetings. You guys come up with fake excuses for why your stories will be late. <laughs> if you recall, Michael was last week's winner with Hillary Duff ate my article. <laughs> DJ, I'll need a few more hours to double check my sources. You profiled yourself. What's there to double check? <laughs> Gasp! Mr. Shepard says we should always double check our sources. And do you always listen to everything that Mr. Shepard says? Yeah, yeah, yes. pretty much. <laughs> okay, I know you guys think that Mr. Shepard is all that in a bag of chips, but he's not that cool, is he? He's cool enough to never say all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> well, it so happens that your cool Mr. Shepard was once a member of the school spirit squad. No way, DJ. Not our Mr. S. Oh, yeah? Wait here. You know, I'd be a great cheerleader. Cute skirts, spelling stuff out loud, breaking into scissor kicks at any given moment. <laughs> Noah, Wilder, spot me. One, two, three. Spot the pep squad, pipsqueak. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Go team! <laughs>uncomfortable can I stuff my stuff in your locker for a week what happened in your locker the exterminator blamed on an old corn dog and an army of ants so can I be a locker mate okay but it's only temporary right. you already moved in how would you get my combination a little advice never write your combo on your notebook some snoopy dude might see it write it down and move in Later, locker buddy. Temporary locker buddy. <laughs> What's with the utensils? Hate getting crumbs on my fingers. Reminds me of that time I played in the sandbox. <laughs> <laughs> what in the little house on the prairie do you have on? <laughs> I have to wear this skirt because I sprained my ankle when I fell. And what, is your wheelchair hidden underneath it? No, but until my ankle's healed, the doctor's making me wear sensible footwear. Oh, Frankenstein boots. I know, it's like you can see the bolts in my neck. That's why you have to swear never ever to tell anyone this dark, dark secret. You're asking a gossip columnist to keep a secret? Nobody's asking. Fine, fine, I won't say anything. You are one odd little girl. Says the boy eating his muffin with a fork and knife. And sometimes there's only one way to get the story, experiencing it firsthand. Going undercover demands a careful strategy, hidden technology, and an ethical compass. <laughs> Man, I wish some of you could experience it. <laughs> Is there something I should know about? Hey, hey. Okay, all right, let me guess. DJ told you about my days on the Spirit Squad. Not so much told as ridiculed. <laughs> you should know that I love being on the squad. In fact, I still get together with my teammates. And make human pyramids? <laughs> Mock me if you want. Thanks. What exactly was it that made you join the stirrup pants or the megaphone? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Let's leave it at that. Joke over, now. Yeah, guys, be nice, or Mr. Shepard will toss you over his head. 
then spin you around and do the splits? Go, fight, win! That's it? I said it was over, but you two just had to keep on going. Now, it's time to face the music. What do you have to say for yourselves? Um, S-O-R-R-Y? <laughs> And then the teacher says to the horse, so why the long face? <laughs> and it's funny because horses don't go to school. <laughs> oh. You want to tell me what's going on? Noah, these are my dudes. Dudes, this is my locker mate, Noah. <laughs> Photo op. <laughs> I want them out of here. You heard me get. Don't make me call your parents. Dude, what's the problem, dude? First off, you started and ended a sentence with dude. And who has a party at a locker? I do. That's why you're yelling at me. Wait. Where are my brownies? That was my after-school snack. We ate them. Delicious. Props to your mom. I made a cheese ball, but somehow misplaced it. How do you misplace a cheese ball? I'm in the middle of moving, remember? Making us go undercover as cheerleaders, most creative punishment ever. Eight years of fake Z notes and here a standard ill-fitting gym garb. We should ask DJ to get us out of this. I already did. Now I'm reporting on it for Buzz. I hate cheerleaders. They're mean, snobby, and not that bright. Where'd you get that from? TV. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I just finished a calculus workshop. Yay, differentiable functions! Never trusting TV stereotypes again. Okie dokie. First off, we want to get to know you guys. So, who's up for a little personality test? I am. Sounds fun. Is it okay if I cheat off her test? I didn't study. <laughs> Not off to a good start, am I? You really think you can get me back, Shepard? I was editor of the yearbook four years running. Trust me, there are no embarrassing photos of me to be found. None. How do you like them pom-poms? <laughs> What's with the granny blanket, Amanda? Just come from a craft sale? <laughs> LOL. I know it looks funny, but as you'll see in my cool or not cool column, granny blankets are all the rage. What's going on? Fine. Go ahead and laugh at the freak with the awful shoes. Everybody else is. Amanda, they're not that bad. You're just saying that to make me feel better. Like when I tell Rebecca that she... Okay, I've never tried to make her feel better, but you get my point. Let me tell you a little story about a supermodel named Karina. You mean five-time winner of the blank stair board and inventor of the pony step runway walk, Karina? <laughs> One and the same. Picture it, Pamplona, Spain, the day before the swimsuit show, Karina decides to do the running of the bulls. She was sure she could outrun a herd of bovine fury. Did she? <laughs> she broke an ankle, cracked a rib, and got gored in the left cheek. No way. What did she do? What do you think she did? She did the catwalk with her cast, bandages, and all. She was sensational. Then I'm going to be sensational. That never happened, did it? You want true stories? Go to Shepard. I got a magazine to run. <laughs> Cheese ball, anyone? My biggest inspiration, I'd have to go with Thomas Edison. Because he was an amazing inventor? No, because a man could pull off a bow tie. I see. Rebecca picked her mom and broadcast her Barbara from. <laughs> anyway, why don't you guys limber up and get ready for the tryouts? <laughs> I can't believe it, but I'm actually having fun. I know. I'm going to like being on the squad. Michael, you haven't made the team yet. I've got a better chance than you. As I say in the cheerleading world, bring it on. You can't snap, can you? No.
two of you stand before me, but I only have one pom-pom in my hand. <laughs> the name of the person who will hold that pom-pom as the injury replacement for the alternate, and then only at home games of sports that are poorly attended, <laughs> is... I'd like to thank my five sisters for teaching me how to jazz walk before I can run. Rebecca Harper! Yes. <laughs> You're not gonna do this without me, are you? I think it'll be fun. Are you kidding me? This girl has all the grace of a giraffe on a skateboard. <laughs> and it's that kind of attitude that costs you the spot on the team, Michael. You may have a cheerleader's moves, but you do not have a cheerleader's attitude. TV never lies. <laughs> <laughs>《Winning a bocce team》and good for you for rhyming "watch me" with "bocce" on the last cheer. You're natural. <laughs> Hi, Michael. It's Harper. I'll catch up with you guys at lunch. Cool. We can work on our strategy for the car wash. Car wash strategy? What's there to figure out? No, no, I said soap first, then rinse. Now we'll never raise the money for the scoreboard. <laughs> I know you're upset, Michael. I'm not upset. What makes you think I'm upset? You're eating your muffin with your hands. <laughs> it's like you've given up. That's what happens when you've been kicked in the heart with white sneakers. <laughs> Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy. So happy that I want to do a cartwheel. Oh, wait, I can't. I'm not in the cheerleading squad. You know, saying things like that is the reason you didn't make the squad. People sometimes get tired of your little jokes. Do you? Look. We're still best friends, but it is nice to hang with people who are a little more positive sometimes. Besides, I do have a story to get for Buzz. Yeah, well, I got your headline. Girl abandons best friend. <sighs> oh, dear. <laughs> this can't be good. It's all good. Come on, open it up. Let me guess, you washed your hands and the combination came off. Dude, seriously? <laughs> Just open it, dude. <laughs> You've been pumped. I got you good. Uh, I don't feel gotten or good. Explain. I totally cleaned up your locker. Oh, yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Wait. Oh, man. Please, no. Dude, dude, you're messing things up. Did you see a piece of paper with my handwriting on it? Yep, I threw it out. Why, why would you do that? Because you were garbage on it. That was my look back on the band garbage, the band. Oh, that garbage. Sorry, dude. I've got an idea. How about instead of being sorry all the time, why don't you try not screwing up? Whoa, is that the kind of energy you want to bring to our locker, dude? It's not our locker, it's my locker. And I want you out of it by lunch, dude. Whatever. I don't want to share a locker with a big selfish jerk like you anyway. Oh yeah? Yeah. Good. Fantastic. <laughs> Next time, do a look back on a band called Don't Throw Me Out, I'm Super Important. <laughs> this one's for Karina. Girl with sensible footwear coming through. Oh, yeah, you heard me. I'm wearing clod hoppers and I'm wearing them with style. Hey, try doing this in your four inch sling back peep toes. <laughs> Ow! Swan ankle! Swan ankle! Swan ankle! Yes! Finally gotcha! Mr. Shepard? Can I talk to you for a sec? Of course. Uh, first, tell me one thing. Is this DJ? That's Dorman Norman. You know, the school mascot? Well, you gotta admit they have the same hair. Well, what is it, Rebecca? When a reporter goes undercover, do they ever end up liking the people they're investigating? Ah, cheerleading's more fun than you thought, huh? For me, not so much for Michael. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, it's okay to want to hang with new people. Especially people with pep and spirit. Say, can you hear it? Pep and spirit. <laughs> I, I digress. If uh, Michael's as good a friend as I think, you, you'll find a way to make this work. Thanks, Mr. Shepard. You're welcome. Oh, you are going down, DJ. 
That's the lunch lady. So I see, so I see. Thought you'd already be gone by now, or I would have come by later. I was gonna swing by earlier, but I spent most of the day looking for a new locker. Look, I'm sorry about this. No, it's for the best. We both know. I guess. You look good. You too. So, um, you seeing any new locker mates? Nah. I'm gonna take some time for myself. Get to know me and my locker again. I hear you, man. See you around. Take care of yourself. Same, dude. Same. You might be good at basketball, you might be good at track. But when it comes to football, you might as well step back. Say what? You might as well step back. Can't hear you. Might as well step back. Go storm! <laughs> You're getting so much better. <laughs> They'll be on the top of the pyramid in no time. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry about hitting you in the eye with my pom-pom. <laughs> oh, it's OK. Did you know that the eyeball is one of the fastest healing organs in the human body? Really? Yeah, first, go eyeball. <laughs> Oh, did you see Mr. McDean today? You mean his jeans? Yeah. If you're going to wear lowriders, you probably shouldn't wear underwear that says number one dad on them. <laughs> um, I meant his awesome cardigan. Spirit Squad members don't make fun of people, Rebecca. Ever. It's not cool. If we wanted a cheerleader, we would have chosen your nasty little friend. Michael's not nasty. He's just sarcastically gifted. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just try this cheer again. But this time with more pep. <laughs> Very impressive. Who knew that there was a comfy shoe convention? It's huge with grandmas and nurses. <laughs> oh, great. Expanding our demographic. <laughs> Look, Amanda, I'm glad you can see that it's okay to wear something that's comfortable and not fashionable. No one is more surprised than I am. It was like breaking up with a best friend. <laughs> True. But sometimes it's nice to have a best friend that doesn't squeak when you walk. Sorry, DJ. I'm a changed girl. I will never suffer from pinched toes and burning arches again. In fact, I just donated all my fancy shoes to charity. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to organizing my foam tread fashion show. <laughs> Are those Figaroochies? Yeah, I think so. Gold sequin Cinderella slip-ons with a three-inch heel and peekaboo toe? I guess. I bought them for a gala and they're too small. You want to try them on? <sighs> no. I'm okay. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I guess it wouldn't kill me to wear something a bit more stylish. I am on the fashion beat. You certainly are. Now, if you don't mind, I have to steal back 50 pairs of shoes from the friendly Samaritans of Hope Society. <laughs> Work like a charm. Good times, huh? Yeah, they were. What's up? My garbage article? Where'd you find it? Let me guess, the dumpster? I had to dive through three of them before I got it. I also found that. I'm hoping there's a reward. Only a friend would do something like this. Actually, only you would do something like this. <laughs> What's this for? I thought you could use it, you know, in case some dude happens to know your combo. Look, I'm sorry. I was a little harsh on you. So if you ever need to bunk with me again, no problem. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Desk buddy. <laughs> a desk buddy? We're... What's wrong with your desk? The exterminator blamed it on a bean burrito and an army of ants. <laughs> the house, the perky posse. I wouldn't know. I quit. 
You did? Why? Well, I finished my buzz story, and as it turns out, I like a little snark with my perk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm the one who should be sorry. I mean, you're the only real friend I've ever had, and when I thought I was losing you, I got mean. You're never going to lose me. For sure? How will I know? Did you see Mr. McDean today? Those low riders? Who does he think he is? <laughs> yeah, MC Soccer Dad. I hear he's souping up his minivan. You release the CD, bring the noise, we use your inside voice. <laughs> What do you want, Shepard? Well, you were right. There is not one single bad photograph of you in any yearbook, not even in crowd shots. I told you. Yes, you did. You certainly did. By the way, your mom's a super nice lady. My mom? <laughs> what are you talking about? 